believe that we can't change what happened to him, but we can prevent it from happening to others, and, and that's our ultimate goal here. So, which is why we sent everything out and exposed it all as hard as it was for us, as hard as it was for him. You know, we figure if we're going to go public, we want it to be something positive versus the video that went out on him that was something negative. So we're going to, we want something good to come out of this. And in the end, again, we hope we get answers. We hope we get accountability. We hope our children learn to, to stand up for themselves. We hope other parents learn to stand up and be a voice for their children too. So, to date, there's been nobody in District 20 um, held accountable for their lack of action and their lack of responsibility. The situation's been very hard at home. It's been, you know, with an autistic child, it sets them back, and and it's very difficult, and it takes them a longer process. Um, to, to heal. And we've been asked this, you know, why don't you just take your kids to a different district? What about the other kids? What about the other 1,600 kids up there that, that are going through this? We were concerned and we just, from a per parent perspective, if we can save a life from a child being bullied so much where they commit suicide, because we were close. And I can't imagine parents losing their children, and it's happening. And so we could pull our kids out, and the problem won't be solved up there. And other kids are going to continue to go through it, and we couldn't live with ourselves if we allowed that to happen. So we're about solving the problem and improving things. And that's why we opted to keep our kids in the school and take a stand and hopefully make it better for everybody. We're still on a long road. And, and we'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. I just, you know, going back to the question you had earlier, I don't want any other parent to have to sit down with their seven-year-old child and explain what sexual assault was, because we had to do that. And I don't want any other parent to sleep on the floor outside of their son's door to make sure the child is safe for the night. So it just, I can't imagine. I know other parents are going through it, and, and we want to stop that as much as possible.